One, serving zero. Seven, serving two. Oh. 
four to thirty seven. Point 
Tiffany Valley. 10, 30, 13.
Vicino. Side out three. Kennedy Howard serving. Nineteen serving sixteen. Thank you. 
wins the match, 25-22 and 25-16. Between games tonight, we would like to recognize our accurate volleyball girls.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Talking about all things IHSAA related. Commissioner, a very important week for you and the association and its member institutions. It's you, your yearly principals meetings tour around the state. And uh, you know, these next uh, two or three weeks, you're out on the road face-to-face, pressing the flesh and talking about high school sports in our state. Uh, it's an important time. It's a gratifying time. But it's one that people don't understand. There's a whole lot of work involved to spend some time with membership and talking about a lot of necessary things. It is, Coach, and it, but it's so, so important. I think people look at this association like I get to make all the decisions. And it just doesn't work that way, nor should it. Right. You know, um, we're out, um, the staff and I, for the next three weeks. We have eight stops around the state. And, uh, you know, we're uh, coming to you today from Lowell, Indiana, where we were, in print, we were in Plymouth yesterday. But the most important thing for us is not only to let our membership know about the association, but we have to listen to them. We've got to listen to our membership about what's going on in their community because this business looks different in uh, Maryville, Indiana, or, or Jeffersonville, Indiana. And so we've got to get out and, and meet with our folks along the way. We also have new principals. You have new administrators who, even though they have maybe had a tangential relationship w- with the institution, they still might not know the uh, all of the ins and outs and the uh, machinations that go on behind the scenes. And so it's good to be out there and be visible and meet with new members of staffs around the state absolutely coach and we 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 want them to understand what what we have to offer each school and whether that's training for a new athletic right. director or if we need to go in and sit down with a coach who who may not understand the the intrinsic value of an education-based athletic system uh, or go sometimes we've even gone out and met with parent groups uh, and so we we want the membership to see, you know, we, we do not want, we have to be something more than a regulatory organization and, some, and, a, and an entity that just runs state tournaments. And and the the most important things that you heard me say before goes on every day with a coach in a gym or a weight room or a field or somewhere. And those are the lessons that continue with student athletes. And, and we want to support that mission within each high school in the state. Yeah, and it's Indiana, and we talk to people. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the other part of it. You know, it's a small state, and, and 400 institutions, and so we kind of believe we're friends with uh, everybody. We like each other. We all have the same common mission. Why not get along and have some fun and look each other in the eye and talk about things? That's exactly right. I was down at one of our sponsors' games last night, the Fever, and I was having this conversation with Mr. Morris and and some other people who are, you know, they're 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 people who have an influence in the state, but they understand sure. they understand how that what you just said, Coach, talking, getting to know people, having a value centered, non self righteous approach is is what makes Indiana Indiana. Well, there are a lot of things that make us uniquely Hoosier. One of the things is we're getting ready for week number four. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> High school football, week number four already. And uh, I'm afraid to look at my calendar. Fall sports continue. won't be long before we're starting to contest some championships, Paul. Yeah, well, we're right around the corner. You know, we're we're one week away from the halfway point of our football season. We're a couple weeks out from celebrating some golf state championships, and and now I call this the tune-up time. Now, you know, we've we've gotten out there as, as coaches and teams, and and we've learned where we're at. Now we're refining where we think we can go, and, and they're they're preparing for this the march on the tournament coming up here. And so this is this is the time where you're you got all your offense in, all your defense in, and you, you've kind of understood your patterns, and now you're you're trying to put it all together for that great run at the end of the season. Paul Neidig with us again. We'll talk uh, all things IHSAA related next week. Be safe. I hope things go well. And uh, Paul, thanks so much for your time. All right, coach. Thank you very much, and keep up the great work for the student athletes in thank this you. state. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur Suburban Home with the two car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. The goal isn't graduation day. It's a better every day after. It's the first day in your new career. Your first pay raise. The fifth day of that week-long vacation. It's the first paid holiday home with your family. Or the day of your last car loan payment. Much sooner than you thought. At Ivy Tech Community College, we don't just care about your degree. We care about your life. Let's get started at ivytech.edu. Hey, Indiana, let's clear the air about vaping, glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word. Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. Inspired by touch, by play, by listening and laughter. Inspired by family gatherings and one-on-one -on -one conversations. Inspired by long walks, long lives, and lives simply lived well. Inspired by compassion, by healing, by grace and strength. What inspires us at Franciscan Health is you. Franciscan Health, inspiring health. When I'm not racing at the track, I do like to take things a little bit slower. But even with my foot off the gas, I'm still driven to save lives. So if you're like me and you like hunting and fishing, you could do something to save lives too. Just say yes to being an organ donor when you get your hunting or fishing license online. Or when you renew your Indiana driver's license. Join the 4 million Hoosiers who have signed up to save lives. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Some see a student athlete working hard in the weight room. We see a future leader learning there are no shortcuts to success. Some see a start to a swim meet. We see the starting blocks for life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. benefits of choosing a career in uh, the union construction industry um, are truly limitless. Some of the things that I've worked on that I'm extremely proud of um, are some of the pipe racks that we just built for Eli Lilly. Yeah, there's a lot of different avenues to grow and to advance in your career. If you're a senior and college isn't for you, in the trades there's so many opportunities. You get to work with your hands, you get trained for free, and the options are unlimited. You can do so many different things with this career. It's 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You have two choices. Option one, take two nanoseconds to reach over and put on your seatbelt. Or option two, decide it's too much work for a Saturday and don't put on your seatbelt. As the seatbelt alarm continues to sing the song of its people, you roll your eyes. You're just going down the block, you'll be fine. You take a turn to the left and that's when you see it. Just wear your seatbelt. It's an easy way to save your own life. The Indiana Criminal Justice Institute wants to remind you that choices matter. Click it to live it. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. 
This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.
at this time to honor this great country and those who have served, would you please rise if you're able and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem?
here to Rita Price Simpson Court at Tippecanoe Valley High School as the Triton Big Blue Slam travels south to tape on the Tippecanoe Valley Lady Vikings. Triton comes in 7-1 after a big win the other night against North Judson for their third conference victory on the season. Tippecanoe Valley comes in 10-5 after a loss against Northwood last night. Starting out there for the Trojans, we'll have Jenna Bulis with Sierra Holly, Macy Hensley, Kate Howell, Avery Veers, Hannah Snyder, and Lena Dahl. The group out there starting for the Vikings will be Erica Henderson, Avery Wagner, Ava Egoff, McKaylee Costello, Colette Blackburn, Emma Patrick, and Ava Smith. Of course, tonight, just a two-man crew between myself, Andy O'Hara, alongside the Hall of Famer, Ryan Lemmers. We're broadcasting live on YouTube in the IHSA Champions Network. This is technically our first regular Wait. season away broadcast. I don't think we've ever done one, So for at least for volleyball. So yeah. this is For volleyball, yeah. It was kind of last minute and, you know, two good teams. And I kind of regretted not being at that Culver game last last week. So that was – had a thriller down there. So we figured, well, we got a close one. We're going to try to do it here tonight. So final instructions, of course, earlier tonight, the JV continued their winning streak up to 11 games now as they took the match against Tippecanoe Valley 25-22 and 25-16. to Final instructions. And both teams get set. So, so final instructions. Get things going here. Looks like Tippecanoe Valley may start to serve. Thanks for giving the way they're set up. And that's where they'll go. And then starting off will be Emma Patrick, the junior. Triton's back row, Holly, Bulis, and Howell. Lena Dahl rotates back on the, on the return. Hensley and Snyder along in the front line. Patrick's serve is on the way, and we're underway. Holly handles it. Pass it to the front side as Hensley will roll it across. Across and a good swing for Ava Smith and the Lady Vikings strike first. A little different look for the Trojans here tonight. As Patrick gets to go again. Holly keeps it alive, brings it up off the hardwood. Smith again deflected her own shot. And she'll roll it across and drops it right in between the defense. And the Vikings with a two-point swing to begin the opening set. Patrick to go one more time. This time it's too strong, and Triton will benefit as they will send Lena Dahl back to serve, and Addison Veers will rotate in for Kate Howell. Addison Veers checks in for Triton. Lena Dahl serving. We thought our new platform was shaky. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> We're on the pushed-in bleachers here. A different vantage point. I didn't get hit with the volleyball tonight. Smith sets that one across. Bulis tries to track it down. He goes into the bench. Tippecanoe Valley with another point. Just a little bit shaky between all the middle schoolers, I believe. Moving around down there. I mean, so that's all right. Ava Smith now back to serve. And Nadal handles it. Snyder passing up to Addison Veers. She'll tip it with the left hand. Wagner's. Set up Blackburn on that one. Lena Dahl sets it across from beyond the attack line. Egoff sets, and there's the block for Macy Hensley. Good timing by Hensley. Good recognition. Currently second on the team in blocks coming into tonight with 26, averaging three per game. 
Henderson handled the serve. Blackburn goes right into the net there as Davis will set it across, and she'll drop it just inside that far sideline. Good recognition to see the opening on the far side. Snyder again. Good swing on the front line for Costello. And she'll go back to serve. Of course, it's been a while since we've had a two-man broadcast. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? I feel like it has been. Beers rolls it across again. Wagner sets it up. Egoff goes back the other way. Davis pushes it across. Addison Veer, she'll swing into the block. It is strong by Tippecanoe Valley. And Egoff showing some nice athleticism on that front line. Can gets the point for Tippecanoe Valley. I've done so many, I've lost track. I just know it's been a while. Usually there's three. Veers winds up, drives it in, right, drops it right inside that back baseline. And back and forth we go here in this opening set. It wouldn't be hard for me to look up. I do have it all wrote down. Yeah, you do. Yes, 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 you do. Of course, Caden had homework tonight, and that's good. He needs to focus on homework. Alexa had a meeting, so that leaves just you and me. <laughs> Egoff rolls it across, but it goes out of bounds. And that... Ties it up at five as Macy Hensley goes back to serve again. Hensley drives it to the libero, Erica Henderson. And it's a prayer, but it hit the ceiling, and Triton takes their first lead of the ball game. Both coaches instructing their group on the floor. Blackburn stops it. Wagner to Egoff. Hensley stops the deep hit. Addison Veers rolls it across. Here comes Blackburn strong out the back row. Point, Lady Trojans. Seven, five. Here's his last minute instruction back to Hensley. He reveres along that front line as well. Henderson handles it. Wagner pushes it behind a Blackburn, and she tries a good hit to the near side in the back row, and the Vikings back on the board. Betty Shepard, number nine, will check in for the Vikings. Wagner to serve as Holly handles it. Davis. Sends it across to Avery Veers, who drops it inside. In a and Avery Veers gets the kill, gets the instruction, or gets the encouragement from Big Sister. She goes back to serve. Addison Veers serving. Anderson handles it. Avery Veers passes it to the back row, and Lena Dahl sent a, oh, couldn't quite get it to clear. Side out to the this Triton team's a team we've watched grow this season. Of course, a lot of seniors, a lot of this group has seen a lot of playing time on the floor. Has really dug themselves out of some tight jams here in this early parts of the season. It's Blackburn back to serve. And it all stops on the far sideline. She wants it back. She'll take a swing. And Lena Dahl may have had a mistake on that first. She couldn't quite clear on the last one, but this one, she made sure she got a point on this one. And Allie Westhaver will check in for Snyder. Allie Westhaver checks in for Trey. Maya Davis serving. Davis drives, just hits the top of the net. Egoff to Wagner. Egoff wants it back. She goes to swing, but couldn't quite clear it. And Maya Davis back to serve.
Henderson handles it. Smith couldn't quite bring it back into play. A three point swing for Triton. Henderson handles it, pushes it. Lena Dahl handles on the front line. Asseveres dumps it across. Lena Dahl there for insurance reasons to make sure it didn't come back across. And a timeout for Tippecanoe Valley. The Triton Blue Slam volleyball team will be having a fundraiser featuring Bruce's Big Grill Barbecue on Saturday, September 9th from 11 to 2 in the Triton High School parking lot. Ticket price is, to, is $12, and the meal is to include a pulled pork barbecue sandwich, chips, and water. Desserts are available with donation upon picking up your meal. All proceeds from the fundraiser will benefit the Triton Varsity Volleyball Program. Thank you for supporting your Lady Big Blue Slam. So of course, Saturday we'll have the tournament. be a long day, but it's a fun day. Yeah, it is. I, I told KS I'm kind of tempted to get up. I don't know. I said I was tempted to get up early. I'm tempted. tempted. To, I'm tempted to set up the night before and not get up early. <laughs> well, I thought I'd get up early and go get donuts or something was oh, my, okay. was my idea. <laughs> then again, we can't spoil lunch because we're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches. So those are those are usually pretty good. So I might have to buy two this year. I, I, I'm, I'm I'm thinking the same. It was. It's always good. Bruce's Big Grill Barbecue always never disappoints. We'll practically be there till supper time anyway. True. This is true. It's a long day, but it's a fun day. I guess we're going to have three courts going. Three courts. Wow. So Davis to go again. Strong serve out the back row. And the Vikings get the point out of the timeout, and Jenna Bulis will now check in. She'll go to the back row with West Aver and Holly. Veers with Addison Avery Veers and Lena Dahl on the front line for Triton. Veers sets it up for Avery, and she drives it across. Wagner to Smith. Sends it down, but it goes out of bounds. It's Gabby Gonzalez will now check in for Egoff. Wagner, Costello, and Smith the front line with Shepard, Gonzalez, and Henderson the back row. Up to Smith, she winds up and drives, but it goes out of bounds. And John Hunton pleading his case. And Avery Veers back to serve. Calm, cool, and collected. She sends it to the back row. Costello hits that one and goes out of bounds. Point, Triton. 15, serve Henderson. Wagner will pass it back up to the attack line as Henderson sends it across. A double hit call coming on Triton. Their first violation of the night for either team. Of course, Tippecanoe Valley coming into tonight three and two on their home floor, and that includes tournaments. At least that's what Max Prep said. Max Prep is getting better, I think. They're, they're doing pretty good. It's, it's of course, it's really up to the coaches to update it. Patrick sends it across in the serve. Macy Hensley winds up but hits into the top of the net. They're going to say it was tipped up front by the Vikings, and Jenna Bulis has to send a free ball across. Wagner leaves it back for Costello, but her hit couldn't quite clear, and Macy Hensley sends it back. And Hannah Snyder will now check in as Lena Dahl will trot to the baseline, and she'll get ready to serve. Lena Dahl, a very accurate server. Can place her wherever she wants on the floor. Up to Costello. They try to disguise it. The block is strong, but it drops right inside the net. And Ava Smith back to serve. 
One of four seniors on this Viking team. Snyder pushes over to Addison Veer. She swings, but that one goes out the back line. Trying wanting a tip call. Smith again hit, but couldn't quite clear the net. Henderson to rotate in. Maya Davis now checking in for Bulis. She'll go to work along the front line. Henderson handles it. That's close to the net. And Addison Veers there to battle with Wagner. Try and gets the point. Coach Evelyn talking to his group on the bench. It's Blackburn will swing from the out-of-bounds line. Addison Veers winds up, but too strong off the back row. Egoff back in the game. She'll go to the front line. And Costello goes back to serve. Snyder pushes it to Maya Davis, but blocked up front by Egoff and Wagner. Short on the serve. Macy Hensley drives through the block. Patrick is back there waiting for it. Blackburn swings through. It's tipped. Point, and Coach Stevens wants to call a timeout. Has a quick conversation. Of course, tomorrow night, we'll be back for football. For one of the last... I won't say what I want to say. <laughs> I think you know what I want to say. I can hit this button here. <laughs> I can hit this button. Of course, tomorrow night we'll be back at home for football. One more after that one will be it for the home regular season games. Hard to believe. Yeah, it's hard to believe. We're already, we're already four weeks into football, and before we know it, basketball will be here. I believe both the 7th and 8th grade uh, volleyball teams beat Culver community tonight at home, Triton girls. Congrats to them. They got recognized on the floor the other night in the North Judson game. So we'll see if Triton makes adjustments coming out of the timeout. They lead by four. So Kaylee Costillo back to serve. Ears passes up to Snyder. She wants it back. She'll tip with the left hand and drops it right past the front line. Out, Let's try back on the board. And Avery Veers will now rotate in to go to the front row. Eight, Macy, Macy Hensley to back to serve. Stupid Valley settles into their defensive formation. Deep hit. It went out of bounds. Trying wanting a tip. It looked like from this angle, Henderson might have got a piece of it. But the call stands. Couldn't quite see the angle from up here. So Tim Canoe Valley back to serve Wagner to handle those duties. Snyder pushes to Avery Veers. She'll swing, drives it down. Avery Veers, another strong kill. Saw her have lots of nice moments the other night against North Judson. Veers gets an ace, the team's leader in that department. Twenty-four aces on the season for her. Counting that one. Henderson on the return. Blackburn rolls it across. Maya Davis has got to tip it across. 
And a lift called on the Lady Vikings. Fears now back to go again. Smith rotates, she'll stay in the back row. Fears again to serve. Drops it short right at the attack line. Here comes Egoff. She swings, and it goes out of bounds. And some Veers lines up. Egoff pushes it up to Wagner. Blackburn rolls it across the top of the net. The Vikings back on the board. Collette back, Blackburn goes back to serve. So serve here on the left side. And it all stops it. Maya Davis dumps it across and Triton gets the point. Good heads up play for Maya Davis. And Kennedy Howard now, she'll check in along the front line with Avery Veers and Lena Dahl. Davis serves. Set point for Triton. Smith rolls it across. Addison Veers passing on over to Lena Dahl. She'll tip it across. Wagner handles it. Henderson pushes it back. Costello blocked up front by Avery Veers and Tip Canoe Valley recovers. Avery Veers sends it down and Triton takes the first set 25 to 16. 25, 16. So we'll take a break. We'll be back for the second set right after this. In high school sports, there are some things more important than winning. Like helping student athletes build character, become better people, and prepare for life. I'm Brian Lewis. And I'm Chris Kaufman. We're both assistant commissioners of the IHSAA. And we believe the purpose of high school sports is much greater than what the scoreboard says. It's about teaching. It's about growth. It's about developing the whole person, not just the athlete. That's our number one priority. Every sport, every student athlete, every day. Let's champion what we believe in. Like learning, like character, like integrity. If you support the mission of high school sports and the life lessons they teach, then buy a ticket to your high school's athletic events. Join us in being a champion of high school sports. This is what we do. This is what we believe. This is your IHSAA. Not everyone can be a champion in high school sports, but everyone can be a champion of high school sports. That's right, fans and parents can be champions, coaches and officials, educators, and the media can all be champions of high school sports. I'm Paul Knighty, Commissioner of the IHSAA. And I'm Assistant Commissioner Janie Ulmer. Being a champion of high school sports is about so much more than winning and losing, setting records, or raising trophies. It's about supporting the mission of education-based athletics, preserving the opportunity for student athletes to grow and develop in the second classroom, and to protect high school sports for future generations to come. Champions of high school sports are just one of the many reasons that education-based athletics in Indiana are so special. And the easiest way to be a champion is by buying a ticket to your high school's athletic event. This is showing support. This is championing high school sports. This is your IHSAA. All right, second set about to get underway here in just about a minute as we're live here from Rita Price Simpson Court at Tippecanoe Valley High School. As I'm Andy O'Hara, alongside me here tonight is the Hall of Famer, Ryan Limler, as we're broadcasting live on the Triton Trojan Sports Network on YouTube and the IHSAA Champions Network. Triton came in still undefeated in that first set as they won 25 to 16. Tip Canoe Valley, the two teams kind of slugged it out earlier in the Got some er, kids, early in the set. Kids that don't know what we're doing, I guess. <laughs> well, I just want to get there. Back of their head in the video. We got to get, got to get on, got to, got to get on TV. You know, <laughs> all the power to them. I don't like to be in the front of the camera. And okay. So Coach Hutton using the final instructions to his group. 
Coach even talking with his group. Trying to handle some adversity in that opening set. So Costello, Shepard, and Smith along the front line with Egoff, Blackburn. Um, well, maybe we're going to have someone come off here. I forgot about Henderson. She'll check in the libero spot. Final instructions, Holly will now check in for Avery Veer, so she'll be in the back with Lena Dolan, Jenna Bulis, Snyder, Hensley, and Addison Veers along the front line. Confusing trying to get set. And Smith will come off the floor. So Blackburn on the front line with Costello and Shepard. Henderson in the libero spot. Wagner in the back row with Egoff. So Lena Dahl back to serve. So we'll get this second set underway. Pretty clean first set. How many violations? Only a couple. One for each team. Henderson now to Wagner. She'll leave it for Costello. She'll go back and drops it right in. Good job to recognize that far side corner being open as she hit it right to where she wanted to on a good pass from Wagner. And Emma Patrick now will check in the junior. She'll check in for Shepard. And she'll go back to serve. Triton settles in. Patrick couldn't quite clear on the Tip Canoe Valley opening serve. And Triton will nod it at one as Snyder goes back to serve as Maya Davis checks in on the front line. Snyder pushes it back. Wagner passing it across the way as Costello will plant her feet and she'll send it across. Macy Hensley winds up but couldn't quite clear the net, so four hits will be the call. The Vikings get it back. It's Blackburn will come here to the near side corner. Back to serve. She dials in. Sends it across. And it all stops it. Snyder pushes Addison, Addison Veers but couldn't quite clear the net. But they're going to say... Did you catch that? <laughs> well, from here, it looked like it hit the top of the net. Triton's, I think the tri Triton was wanting in a net violation where they reached over, where they broke the plane. As Veers stops it, she wants it back. She'll wind up, and she'll tip it right over top of the defense. Side out, Triton. Hensley back to serve. Henderson handles it. Wagner passing over here to the near side. As Smith will swing but couldn't get a good angle on it. Might have rushed her approach just a little bit. All smiles, though. Knots it up at three. As Hensley goes again. Wagner brings it back into play. Egoff will roll it across, but it pushes it out of bounds. Three. Four, three. Hensley to go again. Trying with their first lead here this second set. A good find up front by Costello. She saw an opening here on that near sideline in the back left corner. And she'll go back to serve. Here's tips it across, or rather bumps it across, and try and couldn't quite clear it. And Tip Canoe Valley back out in front. Costello settles back in. 
Goes to Lena Dahl. Snyder pushes it on over to Avery Veers. She'll roll it across. And Henderson couldn't quite get it. That knots it back up at five as Addison Veers goes back to Sir. Wagner passes it behind her. Smith swings through the block. Davis will have to set it back. Egoff goes, pushes it across the court. Fierce back and forth on this little bit of a rally we got going here. May Maya Davis catches him off guard. This sets it back. And it all rolls it across. Wagner pushes on over to Smith. She'll hit it. And it all corrals it. And somehow Triton recovers off the ball that went into the net as Egoff now to roll it across. Addison Veers tries to keep it alive. Not quite out of position. Didn't quite square up on that one. And Shepard now will check in. As Avery Wagner goes back to serve. Davis pushes it to Lena Dahl. The block is strong up front, but she cracks the wall. And try and back out in front. Back and forth we go here in this second set. As Clara Dahl will now check in. Sophomore. Very talented player. Avery Veers up front, ready for that one. Snyder pushes it to Lena Dahl. She'll tip it right over top the front line. Wagner keeps it in play. Smith the swing, tipped up front. Now to Lena Dahl. She plant her feet, drives it to the back one, but it just goes out past that back baseline. Buelis now to rotate in. Tied up at seven. And Smith goes back to serve. Snyder to Dahl, swings through the block. Wagner pushing it across to Blackburn. She'll tip it across, but there's Jenna Bulis waiting for it. Holly passes it to Lena Dahl. She'll roll it across. Smith now swings, hits the top of the net. I say Triton touches it up front is the call. Lena Dahl back again, drops it right in front of Smith. Couldn't quite get it squared up. And Triton gets a point. Addison Veers rotates in for Dahl. And Allie Westhaver will check in for Snyder. Addison Beers along with Allie Westhaver checking in. Westhaver, very good front line player. Avery Beers serving. Good setter. Very strong in that front line. Oh, we're having scoreboard issues. Uh oh. Blocked up front, but deflects out of bounds. Side out to the Did he get bumped? Must have. Now serving number eight, Ava I wonder if all the bounce might have jostled it free. It's tied up at eight. Westover pushes it to Hensley. She'll roll it across. Wagner tips it to Henderson. Egoff will roll it across from just beyond the attack line. And it all tips it. Both teams rallying here. Here goes Blackburn, sets it across. No one's home in the front side corner. Good find by Blackburn on the opening spot inside. That 10-foot line up along the net. Nine, you go off with a strong serve to the back row. And Nadal's going to have to send a free ball across, and it drops just inside the sideline as Egoff was trying to run it off the back line. Coach saying, that's on me. That's on me. John Hutton. Stukinu Valley gets into position. 
tied up at nine. Costello tips it across. Addison Veers brings it back into play. Macy Hensley couldn't quite get the hit she wanted. And the Vikings back out in front. Back and forth we go. And Smith goes back to serve. Hensley now passing to Addison Veer. Swings through the block. is strong by Tippecanoe Valley, but there's Macy Hensley to send it across. Blackburn sets it. Veer's in position for that one. She wants it back. Pass from Snyder is good, and the Vikings couldn't quite recover on the lift call. Maya Davis to check in. Hannah Snyder goes back to serve. Henderson pushing up to the front line. Wagner leaves it for Costello, but she'll swing, and it'll go out of bounds. They're going to say out of bounds is the call from the down ref. Snyder to go again. Wagner passing it to Blackburn. She swings through the block, tipped up front. Davis tips it right inside the attack line. Wagner passing it behind for Costello. Hannah Snyder with the hustle play. Blackburn and Davis battling on the front and trying one in a double hit. She hit it twice, no call. Davis pushing into Addison Veer. She'll swing, and the point's going to. So I think they're going to give that point back because they were it was kind of a delayed call. And a double hit. Now they're going to call it a lift. Excuse me. Addison Veer swings. The block is strong up front with Wagner and Costello. And Costello found an empty spot. Thread, threaded the needle here on the near sideline. Quick conversation with Maya Davis on the front line. Making sure she's in the right position, I guess. Blackburn settles in. Nadal pushes it over. Snyder sends a free ball across. Addison Veers heads up play on the front line and tips it back. And Avery Veers rotates in for Holly as Macy Hensley goes back to serve. Gonzalez. Patrick and Henderson, the back line for the Lady Vikings. Up front, Smith will send a free ball across. Hensley leans in to bring that one back in. Asvir swings to the block. It's tipped up front. Zalba tipped up front. They're going to say it went off of the net. If the Vikings did not touch it, is the call. Costello back to serve. And she gets an ace, the first ace of the night for the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Ties it up at 13. Here stops at Holly. To Snyder shelf to try to bump it up front, but Smith, but it'll go out of bounds. The Vikings back out in front by one. And trying to take a timeout to try to settle back in. As Coach Evelyn tries to refocus his group. The Vikings staff coach their players up. As Coach Hutton talks to his team. Mallory Eaton having a war with Henderson in the Lobero spot. All smiles. Coach Baker, Coach Plotho, and Abby Veers all out in that huddle trying to fire up their group, refocus them in. Just trying, trying to dial it in here in the second set. Coach Baker, final instructions for Maya Davis. 
Jamie Baker's JV squad tonight. 11 game winning streak. After they won in two sets earlier this evening. Costello back to serve. Pushes it to the far corner. Dahl stops it. He reveres once and she'll take a swing. Drives it and Henderson couldn't quite revive it from the floor. And that ties it back up at 14. Been a close second set between these two teams. Addison Beers serving. Henderson passing up to Wagner, who passes it behind to Smith. Swings through the block, but Triton deflected it out of bounds. Timed it right, but didn't quite get their hands in place to deflect it back across the net. Wagner to go again. Drops it right in front of Holly, and she'll get that one to go. So Tip Canoe Valley now up by two. It's a big point for Triton. Need to make a stop at Tip Canoe Valley. A big point for them as well to try to extend their lead. Up front and an ace for Tippecanoe Valley as they now get a three-point advantage. It's two to one to Triton here tonight in the ace department. As Avery Wagner back to serve. She'll use the jump volley. She'll drive it across. Davis tries to track it down, and Triton will not get it back across. It's been four hits. It's Triton out of position on that serve. Triton need to focus back in here. Wagner, it's the top of the net. Maya Davis close, but couldn't quite make the play on it. That'd be a double hit call. It's Triton trying to find that gear. As they trail by five. As Addison Veers gets her shoes tied. And a quick conversation with the upper F. I wish they had different names for that. Up ref, down ref. It sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> but then when you say up ref, it doesn't sound, it, doesn't, it just doesn't flow real well. My Davis couldn't quite clear it. The Lady Vikings extend their lead to six. Wagner goes back, Snyder handles it, but Triton just not quite getting themselves lined up, driving the ball, not quite getting a good solid hit on it. As their wheels continue to spin here in the late goings of this second set. Tippecanoe Valley in control here at home in this second set. Triton trying to straighten things out. And Nadal drives and drops it right in with a roll shot. Kind a soft spot in the middle part of the zone. We'll see if Trying, trying to go on a run here as Tippecanoe Valley still in command of this second set. Davis dials in. Pass close to the net, and there's Lena Dahl right up front, and she sends it back. Davis with the jump serve. Wagner pushing it across to Shepard, but swings through the block. And a big point for Tippecanoe Valley. Ava Smith goes back to serve. Vikings lead by six here in the second set. Bielus, who just checks in. Shepard blocked the front, Lena Dahl. 
And get a net a double hit call on Tippecanoe Valley. Be their first double hit call of the evening. So Avery Veers back to serve. Calmly sends it back across. Wagner passes it behind. Egoff swings, but goes out of bounds. Beers locks in, pushes it back to Henderson, and Tippecanoe Valley trying to get one more chance to get across, and Egoff sends it back across. Good recovery by the Vikings. Dahl up to the line. Tippecanoe Valley trying to rally. Wagner pushes it back in. Henderson back across. Macy Hensley swings through. Blackburn is rotating the near side. A double hit call. On the Trojans. So Ava Egoff back to serve. 23-18. And her serve goes out the back row. And Gonzalez will check in for her. As Lena Dahl back to serve. Triton with a tall hill to climb here. Down by four. Needs to be near perfect. And they're going to say tip, so an ace for Lena Dahl. Triton's second ace of the evening. Henderson got a piece of that one. Dahl back again. Henderson handles it. Shepard back across. Addison Veers swings and goes back. Henderson, nice dig by the libero. Addison Veers again goes but drops it right inside that back line. And lean it all back to go again. All pushes it short. Blackburn has to change up her hit. Costello through the block. Veers to Hensley. She'll roll it back to the back row to Wagner. Wagner will hit it from beyond the attack line, but doesn't quite clear the net. One point separate the two teams. And type out for Tippecanoe Valley is Triton. Going on a four point, or excuse me, a three point run there. Trying to dial it back in. Of course, still trying to figure out what's going to be for dinner tonight. I mean, I know what I'm having when I go home. <laughs> it's dance night, so it's, it's kind of one of those quick meals. But that's all right. It's always good. Michelle always does a nice job. Make sure I have food when I get home. She said, if there's greatest of all time the, from the wife department, Michelle gets that award. Taking care of things. Taking Danny to dance. Has to handle Jacks in the parking lot during dance class. Of course, that starts for Danny tonight. That's her sport. I participate in the summertime. There are pictures, but I was out of my element. My daddy daughter dancing. I was actually on stage, Orion. <laughs> Picture somewhere. Costello plants her feet and sends it across. Addison Veers rolls it across. Tipkin Valley had one more chance, but couldn't quite clear it as four hits. Whoa, they're saying no four hit call. Triton won four hits. No one tipped it up front. And the up ref saying nope. They're saying Triton tipped it. Shepard back across. Bulis to Snyder. Pushing it to Addison Veer. She'll swing through. Wagner again. Addison Veers rolls it across. Shepard's there. Blackburn setting it again. But there's Snyder. Hensley close to the net. And Tippecanoe Valley 
So Addison Viersgoes pleads her case because it looked like from this angle that Tippecanoe Valley, that trying to not touch the would have been a four-hit call. There's a long conversation with it with the up ref. As checking in now will be Lee Smith. As the down ref to come have a conversation. As they're going to discuss that last point. They may replay the point as it looked like from here it was four hits. But down, given that angle, and it was a lot of hands up along that net. They're going to call a jump ball. They're going to replay the hit. So no set point. Don't see that very often. No, it was it was kind of a close as Addison Veers was trying to explain it. From this angle, it did look like four hits, but the up ref did not see it, but they thought maybe try and touch it on the top line. As both refs come to that agreement with that jump ball, they will replay that last point. Lena Dahl now goes to Henderson. Costello swings through. Lena Dahl's there to answer. Tippecanoe Valley trying to get back in. They don't drive it back across the antenna. Out of bounds. That ties it at 23. Off. 23 all. Lean it all back to serve again. Drives a strong serve back to Blackburn. Costello rolls it across. Snyder to Veer. She sends it back. Henderson passing it to the front line. Shepard pushes it. Hall has to play. Bielis has to play that one off, but that will put Tipkinu Valley up by one as the ball hit the backboard. And now Elise Smith will check in. A set point now for the Lady Vikings. A timeout for Triton. As for Triton in this second set, which is usually a tough set for them, they were down by quite a few points and drove themselves right back into contention for this second set. But Tippecanoe Valley got out in front, held that lead. Now a chance to take the second set here on this serve. And Asavir is trying to fire up her back, her back line. Had a fun interview with that group the other night. Yeah, I need to get that posted. <laughs> I'll tell you, I got home and Michelle said whatever Addison wanted at the Blueberry Festival, she is going to next year. And it is, she said it made her hungry. She was trying to Google how to make one. Very detailed in what she wants to eat at the Blueberry Festival. I usually get a turkey leg, but I would have felt bad if they had walked all the way in there this year. Smith back to serve. Holly stops it. Snyder up to Veers. Swings through the block. Gonzalez to handle it. Up to Costello. Holly in position in the back row. Veers swings. Henderson handles it. Wagner plays it away from the net. Costello tips it across. Lena Dahl with the heads-up play. On back across. Snyder to Hensley and doesn't quite clear it. And Tippecanoe Valley takes the second set 25 to 23. So we will at least see four sets here tonight. And we'll take a break. We'll be back for the third set right after this. What makes education-based athletics in Indiana different from other youth sports programs? Our coaches genuinely care about their student-athletes as people, not just as athletes. And their top priority is teaching and mentoring, not winning and losing. Our student-athletes play for the love of the game. They have pride in their school and community. They want to represent something bigger than themselves. Our parents and fans know the student-athletes on the team. They've seen them grow up and care about them. They paint their faces, pack the stands, and cheer loud and proud. I'm Robert Falkins. And I'm Carrie Rosati. We're both assistant commissioners of the IHSAA. High school sports in Indiana couldn't be more different from other youth sports programs. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Be a champion of high school sports and buy a ticket to your high school's athletic events. This is keeping education in front of athletics. This is passion you won't find anywhere else. 
This is your IHSAA. In high school sports, there are some things more important than winning. Like helping student athletes build character, become better people, and prepare for life. I'm Brian Lewis. And I'm Chris Kaufman. We're both assistant commissioners of the IHSAA. And we believe the purpose of high school sports is much greater than what the scoreboard says. It's about teaching. It's about growth. It's about developing the whole person, not just the athlete. That's our number one priority. Every sport, every student athlete, every day. Let's champion what we believe in, like learning, like character, like integrity. If you support the mission of high school sports and the life lessons they teach, then buy a ticket to your high school's athletic events. Join us in being a champion of high school sports. This is what we do. This is what we believe. This is your IHSAA. All right, welcome back, everyone, here to the Tri Intrusion Sports Network as we're broadcasting live from Rita Price Simpson Court at Tippecanoe Valley High School as Tippecanoe Valley and Tri and draw to one set apiece after that very close ending we just had a few moments ago. I'm Andy O'Hara. Alongside me here tonight is the Hall of Famer, Ryan Lindler. We might have the scoreboard figured out now. Okay. It's been shaking and bobbing, and then I have to reset it, and I reset it wrong. And Oh, it's okay. It's You know, it's... That's why you're the Hall of Famer. You can do all these things on the fly and run the camera at the same time. And could you imagine if I tried to do it? We did something might spark and catch fire. That's why well, we. That's why I'm allowed to talk. And I wasn't able to fix it until they had a timeout. Well, there you go. I can't take my hand off the camera and still. Well, you and Kenny, all, like I said, when you want to talk about two good troubleshooters on the fly with this broadcast stuff, these two guys are about as good as it gets. Yeah, remote ch support had to check in tonight. <laughs> hey, that's why we you know it's, it's one thing about our team I love. We get we get the remote remote support all over the place. I mean, whether it's in the combine tractor or from home, <laughs> won't be long before it's that. <laughs> it won't be long. <laughs> Colors are starting to change. Some beans are starting to turn already. We're still a ways away yet, though. <laughs> We're still a little bit away. They're not ready to be picked yet. At least the fields I passed today. Hard to believe that it's already September. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. So Triton, after this match here tonight, they will be at home for the Triton Tournament on Saturday. And then they will be at Jimtown. Or Ryan will throw up that schedule later on. Not too many more home games. Jimtown will definitely not be live. No. It'll be recorded. It will be recorded. But we will be live for everything in the Trojan Trench on Saturday. Yes. Blackburn back to serve. In the back row with Patrick. And Egoff. Front line for the Vikings is Smith, Wagner, and Costello. Veers up to Snyder, pushing it to Hensley. She'll swing. The block is strong up front right by Costello. Smith pushing it back. And it all winds up, tips it across. Blackburn's there to answer. And a miscommunication on the front side corner. And the Vikings get the opening point here this third set. Hensley, Snyder, and Dahl, the front line. Veers in the back row with Bulis and Holly. It's Blackburn back to serve again. Their long approach, but it's direct on the serve. Hensley rolls it across. To Smith, drives it. Addison Veers handles it, digs it back alive as Lena Dahl couldn't quite clear. The Vikings with the opening two points. Snyder trying to fire up. Her teammates on the floor. And to Hensley, she'll tip it across and it's going to hit the sideline and it stays in and Triton on the board. It's Macy Hensley, a very talented player on the front line. 
It's really evolved and matured into a good player these last couple of years. Wagner to Costello, and that one goes out of bounds. Ties it up at two. Of course, if I ever interview her, I'm going to ask her the loud pink shoes. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's the only one with pink shoes. It's impressive. Costello rotates and brings it back in, but Triton can't quite get a play on it. A good move from Costello was kind of fitting. We had to turn her body back in to push that ball across. Shepard now checking in. Ava Smith back to serve. Strong serve to the back row and an ace. The third one tonight for Tippecanoe Valley. Extends their lead to two. Four, serving two. Coach Evelyn talking to his back row. Felix handles it. Tavirs who tips it with the left hand, puts on the brakes by the net. They'll try to roll it across. One of that hit had the right idea, just couldn't quite clear. Maya Davis now checks in for Beulah. She'll go on the front line with Hensley and Addison Veers. Wagner all across the way goes to Shepard, but the block up front not strong enough as Triton can't deflect it back. Costello again. Leads by two. Dahl to Snyder. Now to Davis, but couldn't quite get it back across in four hits as the call as it hit the top of the net to deflect back. Costello with a short serve. Snyder. Punches that one back across, and now both teams recover. The ball moving a little bit faster for Addison Veers. Rolls it across and drops it right in front of Costello. Wasn't a lot of momentum on that ball around the front. Hensley back to serve. Costello on the return. Egoff swings through, blocked up front. Veers and Maya Davis. Trying now down by one. As they try to drop it up just past the net, but hits the top. And the Viking lead back to two for Wagner back to serve. Maya Davis swings to the left hand. The block is strong, and it goes to the scorer's table on a good swing from Maya Davis. Coach even talking about when Holly tried to make that return with that set, wanted her to kind of go with a different type of pass. Up to Egoff, swings through the block. Lena Dahl swings, but goes out of bounds. Back and forth we go. Two-point lead still for the Vikings. Henderson back to serve. Avery Veers couldn't quite clear it. Trying on the approach. Veers locks back in. Then pushes it, Snyder, passing to the front line. Lena Dahl's got to play it close to the net, tips it. And a good hustle play by Wagner, but couldn't quite bring it back across this side of the antenna. And Davis goes back to serve, trailing by two.
Smith with a strong swing. Good approach on a nice pass from Wagner. As Bielis now to check in, she'll rotate to the back row. And Egoff back to serve. Both teams kind of trading punches. Tipkin Valley kind of hanging on to that two-point lead as Holly will send a free ball across. Here stops it, or sends it back across, rather. Smith pushes it, and it goes out of bounds. Must have a Chiefs fan down there. She's watching the game. Well, I got a couple players in there tonight. I'm guessing Chiefs because she's wearing red, yet she's sitting on the Tippecanoe New Valley side. So. Well, I, I think a, a Burrow just signed a big deal, looks like. I got a, I got a player in the, tonight's game. Here's pushing it to Lena Dahl, but couldn't quite clear it. A little too far underneath that one. But Lena, one thing I, I appreciate about her game is how she can adjust. Even after a tough play. Blackburn back to serve. Holly on the return. Wesley were pushing it to Macy Hensley. Rolls it across. Smith is in position for that one. She wants it back. She'll go to swing. Drives it, but it goes out of bounds on a dive from Holly. Close play. Apparently, this is the place to 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 go up. <laughs> play close to that. Addison Veers is there to tip it back. Cuts the lead to one. Myself, I'd rather go down there and use the handrail to make sure I don't fall off when I'm going up and down. <laughs> well, it, it kind of comes for us as balance in old age. Smith tips it. Snyder gets called for a double hit. I use the handle just because I don't want to ever trip and fall down. <laughs> Although that step was a little bit steep earlier. And another ace for Tippecanoe Valley as they push that lead to three. It's their fourth ace of the evening. Snyder trying to focus them back in. Short <laughs> off the tip and another one for Tippecanoe. Back-to-back -back aces. On, this serve, on these serves, even looking, we're going to see a timeout as he tries to refocus in his Lady Trojans. As the Triton Blue Slam volleyball team will be having a fundraiser featuring Bruce's Big Girl Barbecue on Saturday, September 9th from 11 to 2 in the Triton High School parking lot. Ticket price is $12, and the meal is to include a pulled pork barbecue sandwich, chips, and water. Desserts are available with donation upon picking up your meal. All proceeds from the fundraiser will benefit the Triton Varsity Volleyball Program. Thank you for supporting your Lady Big Blue Slam. As we noted earlier, we're thinking two sandwiches on. We crashed. Oh, we crashed. Oop. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep on going then. Uh oh I have not seen it do this before. That's a new one. So we'll keep on calling it. So Now it's back. We're back. Okay, we're good now. Just a minor, just a minor hiccup. We're good. We're good. I'll do the advertisement again in just a little bit. So we're good. <laughs> Never seen that screen do that before. That's a, that's a new one. Sure, powers all plugged in. So I think we're good. So Smith to serve. We'll see what Triton makes the adjustments. Trailing by four out of this timeout. Trying to seems to settle down and start communicating as that block not strong enough. Couldn't quite deflect the strong swing from Addison Veers. A good approach on a nice pass leading to a good strong hit. Snyder back to serve. Henderson to Wagner. Shepard finds an empty spot as it drops right in front of Holly. 
a good find by Shepard. Egoff now to check in. Costello trying to lead it, but couldn't quite clear it. He's going to try to drop in that front line. Sierra Holly goes back to serve. Wagner, Teague off. Dahl keeps alive. Avery Veers, but a good swing and a reaction by Egoff. Four point lead for Tippecanoe Valley. He's trying, trying to find a stop here as they trail by four. And a quick conversation with the upref and Blackburn. Wagner to serve. It's a jump serve. Dahl on the return. And trying, trying to get things sorted out. Some miscommunications. Not truly really finding the floor real well. As Allie Westover will now check in. Out of ears. Swings. Good dig by Henderson. Egoff sends it back across. Trice needs to settle down. Trust everybody on the floor here as they're kind of starting to bunch up just a little bit. Westover with a nice pass over to Avery Veers. It goes to the back row. Costello handles it. Tippecanoe Valley, one more chance to get it across and a good rally by the Lady Vikings. Aston Veers swings through the block and drops it in. Tippecanoe Valley, it was a good hustle as the ball was about dead, but a great hustle by that group to get that back across. But Aston Veers with a kill, gets Triton back on the board, and she'll go back to serve. Wagner back across. Blackburn. Lean it all, plants her feet, drops it. And Maya Davis making sure that it wasn't going back across. Tipkin Valley wants to say she reached across. Floor a little slick over there, looks like. Three points back to separate the two teams. As Henderson couldn't quite clear it. Try and stays on the board. Here's back to serve. He golf stops it. She couldn't quite clear it. And now their lead dwindles to one. Trying on a little run here. Stupid Canoe Valley looking to lock it back in. Henderson passes the front row. Blackburn swings, but couldn't quite clear, and that ties it at 17. And a timeout for Tippecanoe Valley. So, of course, going back to our conversation before things kind of froze there. Oh. I'm looking forward to these sandwiches on Saturday. I mean, pulled pork, I've been purposely... And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this on Saturday, but there's a lot of teams. Those Ryan said we're going to run three different matches or three different courts on Saturday. Of course, there's the schedule for the rest of the season. Not too many home games left. Handful. 
Of course, a few tournaments scattered through there. I can't read the sure. screen. You're, I'm not you're sure there. which night they're going to have senior night, but the last home game is going to be South Bend Career Academy on September 28th, I believe. That'll be here before you know it. I need to fix my schedule on my sheet here. Of course, that Argus game got moved because their AC yes, unit did. broke. Yep. And an ace for Addison Veers and Triton takes the lead by one. It's her third ace of the evening. 18-17. Henderson couldn't quite handle that one in the back-to-back -back aces for Addison Veers. Costello handles it. But they're going to call a double hit on the Lady Vikings. It's their second double hit call of the evening. Widener across the way. Blackburn winds up. She sets it across, but it pushes it out of bounds. Right idea. Saw an empty spot on that left side corner. Just couldn't quite keep it in play. Here's again, Henderson can't handle it. Another ace for Addison Beers. As the Trojans with some momentum here and a timeout for Tippecanoe Valley as Triton's starting to roll here in the late goings. As they fired up, the team trailing by four has gone on a quite a run to put themselves out in front by five here in this third set. Up to 57 watching on YouTube. Appreciate everybody watching. I know Don and Becky are watching. Made sure they knew that there was going to be a stream and it was working. Always appreciate their support and appreciate everybody's support. I'm sure Michelle's watching as well. I mean, I think they're home. I got to give birthday shout outs. My mother, Margo, her birthday's today. And we learned over the weekend that Cheyenne Holly's birthday is also today. So, Well, happy birthday, both of them. Absolutely. Danny enjoys getting to see Margo at, at lunchtime in the cafeteria. She talks about it. We got to stop talking about food. My stomach's about ready to. <laughs> I haven't ate all day, man. I mean, food has been on my brain since like 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I just didn't stop for lunch today. Henderson handles it. That's close to the net. Wagner plays it away. Good play by her, but Egoff couldn't quite get it. Another point for Triton. Henderson pushing it to Wagner. Leaves it for Blackburn, but couldn't quite clear it. And Triton now has a chance for set point after trailing. 17 to 13 at one point. And Aston Veer clears the top of the net. Egoff handles it. She wants it back. She'll swing through. And then the Vikings stop the run. Still set point for Triton. Henderson to serve, a nice short serve. Nadal a chance to end this third set, and Triton takes the third set, 25 to 18. The team dug deep, was trailing, and not, couldn't quite find the gear, but battled through adversity to take that third set, 25 to 18. We'll take a break. Be back for the fourth set right after this. Where does everyone come together to cheer as one, to build traditions, to show pride? High School Sports. I'm Robert Falkins. And I'm Janie Ulmer. We're both assistant commissioners of the Indiana High School Athletic Association, and we love how high school sports play a key role in the life of every member of a school community. That's because high school sports are a special place where everyone shows up to have the teams back. It's amazing to see the whole community, students and parents, coaches and teachers, come together at the school to cheer on their student athletes. Celebrating high school sports unites us all, and that experience is essential to the pride and passion of an entire community. Be 
a champion of high school sports by buying a ticket to your high school's athletic events. This is unity. This is pride. This is your IHSAA. All right, welcome back, everyone, here to the Triton Trojan Sports Network. As I'm Andy O'Hara, alongside me is the Hall of Famer, Orion Lindlers. We're live from Rita Price Simpson Court as Triton leads after that third set, two sets to one as we head into the fourth. So you had something you were going to say. Well, I was told to give a shout-out to Sheila Ulmer, who's watching. That's the doll's grandma. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course, they're good friends of mine down there. Peterson family. They're here live watching, though. There's are a few rows ahead of us. Yeah. So appreciate everybody watching. Absolutely. Give all those shout outs. So we get settled in for a four set. Trying had to come back deep. They were trailing in that third set. For a second set, the two teams kind of slugged it out as Tippecanoe Valley led by. Won that second set by two. Triton won the first set. But picking up that third one there, this will be a big four set. I think it's going to, you know, who's going to come out and want it more here in this fourth one? It's Tip Canoe Valley. They've shown to be strong as they usually get those opening points. But Triton's going to have to find an answer here early. Get things settled down. I'm settled. I'm settled down. <laughs> we're, we're good. I'm settled in. If I'm not settled, the camera's going to be all over the place. Yeah, we need you to stay settled. We didn't. We, we didn't. We didn't bring your backup camera guy tonight. <laughs> he had homework to do. Homework comes first. Hopefully, the backup camera guy doesn't need to back up himself tomorrow. <laughs> He's not allowed to eat and horse around. <laughs> we 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 have to tell you what. Oh, Caden. Oh, Caden. He loves doing this, though. Veers, Hensley, and Snyder the front line with Buis, Holly, and Dahl back to serve in the back row. Costello, Wagner, and Smith the front line with Blackburn, Egoff, and Henderson the back row for the Lady Vikings. And they will start with the opening point. As Blackburn will take her spot on the near side corner. Has a long approach, but she's very accurate in her serving. As Severs winds up, sends a straight shot back, and a good recovery by the Lady Vikings. As Severs swings, drives it, paints the line, and ties it at one with a good swing. Nice pass leading to that hit. Macy Hensley enters the track. Snyder goes back to serve. Blackburn handles it. Henderson, good rally, and that one goes out of bounds. And Sierra Holly ensuring, making sure that she didn't take a swing as that one off the back line. One thing I'm impressed about this Valley team is how they scramble and rally. Anderson couldn't quite clear it. And a point for Triton. Let's try and one thing always fun to watch about this group is this is a group that has found themselves in trouble, but yet they've worked themselves back out of trouble. This is a team very 
A lot of some very good chemistry on this team amongst this group. Hensley sends it back across. Wagner dumps it. Hensley hits that one, but Wagner swings back. Good find by Wagner as the Triton defense was starting to kind of gravitate towards that front left side. She saw an opening here in the rear side corner. The near side corner. Now serving from the Vikings, number 24, Ava Smith. Smith back to serve. Trailing by one. She'll send a strong serve, and she'll get an ace. That's their sixth ace of the evening. Smith to go again. Couldn't quite clear. As Macy Hensley goes back to serve. Shepard pushing it back across, trying out a position on the front line. Scott Hewitt trying to fire up his front line. Snyder to Veers. She'll send it across, and Tippecanoe Valley couldn't quite nope. bring it back into play. Oh, I guess they bring it back into play. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. I thought it was over with. That's that's kind of what I thought too. It, I miscounted the hits there. It's on me. Costello goes to Dahl. That one's gonna have to play out the net, but couldn't quite clear it. They're gonna say a, a net violation on the Vikings is the call from the up ref. They're gonna call it on Wagner. That's our first net violation of the match for either team. Shepard swings. The block up front by Dahl and Veers is strong. Pushes to get back, and Triton's going to get the point. So they jump back in the front, back out in front by one. Point. Wagner pushing it. Egoff with a good swing that finds an empty spot in the middle of the zone, splits the defenders. Triton couldn't quite square up on that one in time. Davis on over to Dahl. She'll swing and drives it. Oh, we're getting a whistle on the. It's a late whistle. They're going to say Lena Dahl was in the net. Davis on over to Dahl. She'll tip it across. Tippecanoe Valley trying to rally, and they can't quite bring it back into play, and that ties it at seven. West Haver will rotate in for Snyder. As Maya Davis goes back to serve. Anderson on the return, up close for Egoff. She'll set it across. Veers is there. Trying to have to play it off the net. Lena Dahl drives it across. Henderson. Strong swing. Davis stops it. Veers tracks it down. Avery Veers sends a free ball across. Egoff sets it across, and nice job by her to drop it over top the line. Adjusted her shot. As Bielus now rotate in for Maya Davis. And Henderson back to serve. Strong serve to the back row. Holly's pass is close to the net, and there's Egoff to make sure it wasn't coming back across. Two point advantage now for the Lady Vikings. Henderson again. Both teams battling hard here in this match. 
as Dahl sends it across. Smith swings through. Holly handles it. Fears sets it back across. Costello in position for that one. Here comes Egoff. Avery Fears has got to adjust. Triton rotating the floor well on defense. Lena Dahl sets it across, and Triton's going to get the point. Good rally by both teams. Both teams moving the floor well. Macy Hensley rotates in as Avery Veers goes back to serve. This clears the top and an eight, and an ace for Avery Veers. Six on the night for Triton, six on the night for Tippecanoe Valley as well. Veers again. Wagner crossed to Smith. Fierce pushing it to Lena Dahl. Sending up Smith, swing through. And somehow Avery Veers brought that one back in and Triton puts on the brakes as that point will belong to the Vikings who are back out in front by one. Egoff back to serve. Here's rolls it across. Wagner up to Smith, who sets it again. A two-point advantage now for the host Vikings. West Tabor, Hensley and Dahl the front line. Veers, Buellis, and Holly the back row. He got off to serve Henderson in the back row with her, as well as Wagner. Blackburn, Costello, and Smith, the front line for Tippecanoe Valley. Both teams, two strong front lines on that interchange. Wagner drives it, and Veers couldn't quite square it up. He's kind of playing back up. A three-point lead now for Tippecanoe Valley here in this fourth set. For Tippecanoe Valley, things going your way here in this fourth you're trying, you can't let him get too far in front as Allie Westhaver with the big kill. Went top shelf to tip that one down. As the two setters will change place. The Snyder back in the game. Lena Dahl back to serve Triton's serving rotation goes full circle. Lena, or excuse me, Macy Hensley on from the front line sends it back. One point separate the two teams. Weiner pushing it to Smith, swings and drives it. Good swing by Smith on a nice pass from Wagner, who's doing a nice job passing in that setter spot for Lady Vikings. And the ball must have went back behind Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the bleachers. We got to back up, it looks like. Maybe. Yeah, we do. That's what it looks like. And now the Lady Vikings serving rotation goes full circle. Take your pick. There's what, six of them over there on the bleacher. bleachers? Seven now underneath. Fears rolls it across. Smith swings through. Triton can't quite bring it back into play, and four hits will be the call. Or will be the tip that goes out of bounds. Three points. A brave soul found it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them oh, back there. A whole there. bunch of them. So make that nine that's over there. <laughs> Fears on the hit. Block. This, this block up front is strong. That hit goes out past the baseline. Almost lands in the trash can. And now the, the down ref will see which ball was the game, and I think she <laughs> found it, possibly. There's some marks on the ball. She's not sure. So we're going to have a quick conference about that. As I believe that's another IHSA official down there on the scores table. Is they're going to 
Look at look at that hand sanitizer. Gonna <laughs> gonna clean up. Look at that. They came prepared. Look at that. Impressive. And Maya Davis rotates in. Now that's all front line of Davis, Veers, and Hensley. Snyder sends it across. Wagner leads it for Smith. Swings blocked by Addison Veers up front. Back row hit by Costello goes out. The Vikings winning a tip. And the point belongs to Triton. Anderson adjusts her return. Maya Davis couldn't quite tip it. It is a tip. It is a tip. And the, well, they're going to say that they're going to say the tip canoe valley was in the into the net. Blackburn to go have a conversation. That's the call from the up ref. The down ref can't overrule it. But that's the call. So it's going to tie it up at 14 on the net violation. Coach Evelyn, a quick word with the brain trust over there on the bench and an ace. For C for Snyder. Tip Canoe Valley settles into their defensive positions. Macy Hensley tips it across. Costello to answer. Macy Hensley reaches to the top shelf and sends it back down. Triton takes the lead by two. And a timeout for Tip Canoe Valley. So, of course, Saturday we'll have a long day of tournament play, but there will also be some Goodies outside for that fundraiser, so show up and support them for that. Bruce's Big Grill Barbecue will be out there. I've said it a bunch of times because let me tell you, it's good stuff. I know Ryan doesn't want to talk yeah, about it. You don't food, have to come to the volleyball oh, game. You don't have to come to the volleyball game. They sell it outside in the parking lot. Exactly. You just drive up, and I think it's pretty much like drive through service. Yes, sir. I would know because we're never out there, but that's what it looks like. Oh. Well, Tony's always out there. So, That's kind of what he explains it. Well, no, it'll be our year anniversary going to the IU game. Remember, we That's right, we, we did ate really, it uh, on the way. We did. We never so we last year we got we had the opportunity to go to an IU football game, although we got to play got to take part in that monsoon. My shoes have never been so soaked in my life. <laughs> but we did not miss Bruce's Big Grill Barbecue. We had it. Kenny and I were there at the school. We got a bunch and we took them with us. We're good to go. Can't you you can't miss out on that stuff. I always look forward to trying to turn it. Fun stuff. Here we go. Snyder again. Henderson up close to Wagner, who sets it across. Blocked up front. Addison Veers. Snyder serves it to the back row. Henderson handles it. Wagner's pass to the front line for Smith, who swings but couldn't quite. Get him on top of it. And that one sails out the back row. Sierra better hurry. That last ball went back in the bleachers there. They kind of jogged over there for that one. It's like the green monster for volleyballs over there. Snyder again. Free ball back across. Trying calls for it. Good pass on over. And a severe swings, but too strong at the back row. Ava Smith to, to serve now. Oh, we get a flag. They're going to say she crossed the, the base, the cross the baseline. So a foul on the Lady Vikings will turn it back over to Triton as Avery Veers now rotates into the front line. Macy Hensley to serve. Send it short. Costello tries to drop it over top of the defense and a good recognition by her. Didn't have a lot of action and speed on that ball. Used that momentum 
Just tipped it right over top of the defense. Egoff now checks in for Gonzalez as, Co as Costello back to serve. Snyder to Veers. Blocked up front by Egoff. By Wagner, she's fired up the setter. Two-point ball game. Coach Plotho moves from his seat as he makes his way to behind the bench. <laughs> I bet he's ready for some barbecue on Saturday. Well, yes, he is. Try to get the wet spot on the floor. Assistant coach Abby Veers, who will be my co-host for girls basketball this year. A Reveres rolls it across. Henderson handles it. Wagner brings it back into play, and the Vikings rally again. Maya Davis sets it across. Egoff tips it across. Wagner to Shepard. Swings through the block, and it deflects out of bounds. One-point ball game. Timeout for Coach Evelyn. Like we said, it's here about what the halfway point of the volleyball season. We're getting close to it. Of course, this year it feels like it's flying by. I don't a lot more away games than home games. So yeah, next week's Jim Town on Monday, Elkhart Christian on Tuesday, and at Bethany on Thursday. So busy week next week. The Elkhart Christian game will certainly be live. Yes. Jimtown will not be. Bethany's maybe up in the air. <laughs> we'll see. Well, if they would just let me drive my work vehicle after hours, and it wouldn't, I wouldn't lose my <laughs> gas car. We wouldn't have this problem. Well, you know, I could drive my personal vehicle that day, but my luck, I'd have to drive all over the place. 18-19, <laughs> one point separate the two teams. Costello back to serve. Veers tips it across. Henderson tries to get it. It's up near the net, but they're going to get a lift. They're going to call a net violation as Henderson broke the plane underneath. Veers now to serve. Blackburn on the return. Wagner passes it behind to Shepard, but who couldn't quite clear it? Ass, that thing likes to go back to that corner. Got, you got to hurry up now. You can't. <laughs> Coach, even last minute instruction to Maya Davis on the front line. Henderson handles it. Wagner pushing it across the way. Here comes Egoff. Lena Dahl wants a swing. She'll tip it across. And Triton gets the point. Lead now to four to the big blue slam. Beers sends it over short. Blocked up front, Avery Veers, but Triton, oh, we're going to say another uh, four hits are going to call. Is the call in Tipkinu Valley. Short, and Lena Dahl's up there to tip it back across. Oh. The point belongs as Triton reached over. Wagner back to serve, 23-19. Davis pushing it to Avery Veers, who swings through the block, and now it's going to be match point for the Triton Lady Trojans. Alley West, West everyone now will check in for Hannah Steiner as Maya Davis goes back to serve. Point. 
Davis sends it across. Egoff handles it. Wagner pushing it back to Egoff, who sends it across. And they're going to say a lift called on the Vikings, and that's going to do it. Triton's going to win 25-19 here in this fourth set. They take this match three games to one as they improve to 8-1 on the season and 5-1 and on the road. Tip Canoe Valley will fall to 10-6 and six on the season and 3-3 three and three here at home here tonight. Of course, as Ryan alluded to all that, we're going to get things packed up here from Rita Price Simpson Court. As Triton wins, we'll be back on set. We'll be back tomorrow night for the foot for the Triton hosting Bremen tomorrow for tomorrow night's football game, and then we'll be live on Saturday for the Triton tournament. So with that being said, we're going to hang it up here. As I'm Andrew Harrell, alongside me here tonight was the Hall of Famer Ryan Lindler. Until next time, remember the Trojan way.